As we have said in the previous video, we want to make this, the startup.cs and the configure services method more clean and clear. So we will move all this uh, methods here and extension methods to the um, external class called service extensions. And within that, we are going to put a set of extension methods. So here we just call the name of the function. And in this case, we have this more clear and teddy. What extension methods is all about, it's basically a way to extend an existing object or extended class without dividing from it or deriving from it or even modify the original type. What you are going to extend in this case is the iService collection and add set of methods to simplify what you are seeing right now in front of you. So to get started with this, I will create a new folder and call it extensions in the API. For now, we are going to set a class called service extensions and within during the course, we are going to add more and more things here like other middlewares for managing the time zone and other things. So I will call it service extensions. So basically to create a static methods, you have to create a static class and all the functions should be static here. So first, let's move the authentication part this one into a method called add B2C authentication. So the B2C authentication will take this as a parameter. So this one is going to be uh, the tab that we are going to extend. And the second parameter is going to be the configuration. So to do this, I'll type public static void. We are not going to return anything. And here, let's call it add B2C authentication. So this one, is going to be like this, the add authentication. Add authentication here is an extension method. You can see that here uh, between the parentheses extension. So this one is using the iService collection object, which is the services to add the authentication. So basically this one is passed internally by setting it like this. This iService collection Let's import the namespace services. So right now the services object existing anywhere will be extended by this function. So we can call this on behalf or for any object of the services. And we are going to use the configuration. Configuration, that's a great and cool. Right now let's move this part from here. And let's paste it here like this. So great, let's import the namespace and change this configuration to this one. Also, we have to import. Great. So whenever right now we add the namespace for the extensions here, uh, the services will be extended with a new function called add B2C authentication. But before we do that, let's complete other functions. Static void, add application, I would call it database, not db context. Database context, yeah. So this is more clear. I service collection services, and also we need the configuration like that. And let's bring all the stuff here of the database and paste it here. Let's bring this configuration, replace it with this one, import all the required namespaces here. Great. At the end, I will create a function called configure course. Services and here we don't need the configuration and let's move this part from here. I will paste it here. That's a great. Right now, here we have objects. Uh, we have extension methods for every set of services we want to configure in the dependency injection container. So that's a great. In the next videos, we'll create the repository, the services, all the stuff we're going to be uh, put here in this separated class. 
And right now for the startup, you can say services dot add B2C authentication. So as you see, if we import right now the library ticketsbasket.api.extensions, as soon as you import the namespace, you can see that the function has been found and it should take configuration as a parameter. And this, the first parameter, which is the iService collection, is basically this one. So using this keyword, in this case, make the extended object the first parameter. And here you, we pass the configuration. The second one is add database, application database context, also the configuration. And also we have the configure course. Like this. So that's a great. Right now we have a more clean class and easy to understand and read whenever you want to change anything. Just go to the definition or hit F12. So you can make all the changes here. So this one is just very clear. So this is everything for this session. Thank you so much for watching. And in the next video, we are going to start implementing the repositories and the services for the business logic. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated with everything new. Thank you.